Much like tires on a car that's been driven a bunch, you can also wear down an SSD. To help you understand the status of your drive, SSDs have wear indicators, letting you know when it's time to think about a swap or at the very least some maintenance. Today we will show you how to fix them and the other common PC problems that they cause on DIY 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we make tech simple enough that you can do it yourself in five minutes or less. In the series before, time and time again, we've learned that solid state drives, SSDs, are a big advance over the older hard disk drives, HDDs, for several reasons. SSDs have fewer moving parts, so they're more robust and are less prone to mechanical failure. SSDs have a faster read-write time, with newer NVMe SSDs as much as 100 times faster than an HDD. SSDs use less power and produce less heat, making them ideal for laptops. So why are we here then? Well, again, SSDs will physically wear down over time, just as tires do. Tires only have a certain number of cycles on pavement before they physically cannot continue. We can say the same about SSDs, minus the pavement part. All SSDs have a limited amount of program erase cycles to the NAND called terabytes written. When SSDs are close to expiring, they exhibit one or more of the following symptoms. One, if you notice crashes during startup, pay close attention to see if simply restarting the computer more than once temporarily allows the boot process to finish. Two, if saving files is taking an extremely long time, this could indeed be a sign of bad blocks on your drive. Bad blocks are a reference to the sectors in your drive that have suffered physical damage and can no longer be accessed. This is caused over time by the physical wear and tear that the drive goes through in its normal read and write cycle. Three, you may notice that specific files are inaccessible. If this happens, it could be another indicator that the drive is failing. Four, the drive overheats. It's important to remember that NVMe SSDs can run hot, especially when performing intense read writes. This is why some SSDs are now sold with a heatsink. However, SSDs should be less prone to overheating compared to older HDDs. So, if you are closely monitoring temperature, higher temperatures than normal in either case could be yet another indicator that the drive is failing. It's important to note that wear is not the only thing that could cause these symptoms. Physical damage should never be ruled out. Examples would be improper installation or drive overheating. While the issues we've discussed so far are all good indicators of an SSD about to expire, to be sure, you may want to use an SSD monitoring tool. One such tool is smart monitoring. What is smart monitoring? I'm glad that you asked. SMART stands for Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. It's a system built into most modern hard drives and SSDs and is designed to monitor the status of your drive and identify issues that need to be fixed. Crystal Disk Info is a great tool for tapping into SMART on your SSD and giving you a concise report as to the status of your SSD health. Also, certain SSD manufacturers have their own tools to monitor drive health, like Kingston. The Kingston SSD Manager, KSM, application provides users with the ability to monitor and manage various aspects of their Kingston solid state drives. Super useful. To summarize, while it's possible to keep up with SSD maintenance, see episode 175 linked in the description, SSDs are not repairable items and need to be replaced when they fail or are about to die. The good news is that we learned some techniques to identify impending issues, so you can back up and replace before things get bad. Check for crashing during startup, saving files taking a long time, inability to access or read specific files, and finally, if your drive overheats. It is always recommended that you automate some of this by taking advantage of monitoring applications. Why be paranoid? Why sleep with one eye open? Why not transfer your paranoia to a program that can replicate it 24 seven? Why not have these applications run in the background for you and alert you when trouble arises? It sounds like a win-win-win to me. If you found this video helpful, like this video and ring that bell so that you can stay up to date with DIY in five. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and if you're up for it, click here to check out another episode.